Igbo African Spirits by Sirius Ugo Art. The Igbo word for deity is Abwala or Abwara. This is also the esoteric Igbo word for energy. The Igbo word for spirit is Chi. In Afa, Chi is called Aka Ora, Ijitofu or Ijite Ora. This art book unveils some of the best serious Ugo art of Igbo spirits from 2017 to 2021. Dedicated to all Igbo people and the entire universe. Acknowledgements, inspirations from, and gratitude to Nechuku, Chukunajana, Ozo Ado, Onubudog, Agu Ishioha, Ezewanyu and Miri, Nonanambo, Ibo. Agunkwa ndi chie no na chi eke orie afo nkwa ndi okpo na ndi egede ibo dibias ezume ezumi nine ndi nine se ni ibo gade tegete aku agale ose Atunne chuku komosu Komosu The universal mother The cosmic womb Akwale omomo Odo omomo No omomo Ne chuku Aku agale The realm of the Grand Lady, of the all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-good. She is also known in Afa as Odiobala, which is a Nawo. Nenwa Nawo. Who gave birth to Obala Obala, which is Adada. The expansion of the universe, the expanding universe, filled with asteroids and shooting stars. Who then became Osobala, which is Anyamu, the light of the world. Just like Apep and Atum, Ekenachi represent matter and spirit, or the creator and the life force. In the beginning, without end, there was Ekenachi. They are the divine mother and the divine father. Eke represented the original chaos of creation. While she represented the original order. The symbol of chi is the circle and the dot in the middle, while the symbol of Eke is the python, both of them representing spirit and matter. In Afa, Aka Ofu is the esoteric name for Chuku as the progenitor or the primordial spirit of the universe. Aka in this sense doesn't mean hand. Aka is proto, original, primordial, the source origin. In science, the elements of Chuku would be proton, atomic number one,
odachi neke. In the Pan Ibo cosmology, the universe came into being through an event known as Odachi Komosu, Odachi Nebere, and Odachi Neke. This event explains the splitting of Eke from Chi and how Chi resurrected Eke with his tears. In science, the event of all that you come also is called the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang. Odachi is Big Bang. Komosu, Koromayasu, the Divine Primordial Revealer, Neke and her divine husband. Chuku Anyanelewa The infinite watcher of all. Both of them became what we know in Igbo spirituality today as Enunana, the sky and the earth. Every original Igbo consultation to the spirits begins with gratitude to Enu and gratitude to Anna as the Divine Mother and the Divine Father. Ogodokomosu, the body of the Earth Goddess, Ajana. We are all an embodiment of the body of the Earth Mother, which is matter. Ogodokomosu is the sacred body of the Earth Goddess. She can be consulted with a Kola Knot. The Kola Knot represents the seed of the Earth Mother and her day is our four, which is the third day in Igbo's four weekdays. Ajana. Komosu became the androgynous Igbo earth goddess known as Ajana. Ani, Ana, Allah, in various Igbo dialects. The body of Komosu became the dry lands of the earth, known as Ajana. And from Ajana, all species of the earth emerged. Thus, Afa says that Ibo so was anything, which means that Ibo emerged with the universe, or that Ibo emerged from the body of the earth. The first Igbo people, Ndembo, are the seed people of the earth. Omoaduana. There are so many ancient Igbo cosmic schools of thought that present this fact. In Igbo spirituality, Chuku does not live in the sky like the world was taught to believe. Thus, Ibo manifested that Chuku dwells at the core of the cosmos. The Ibo creational account known as Ado ni Ibo explains this. Ado, the cosmic seed yam, is Chuku planting himself on earth and thus became the molder of all things in his own image, such as apes and humans. Ado Chuku 
the Igbo word for ape or chimpanzee is adaka, which is ado, aka. The word breaks down as ado, aka. In Afa, ado, aka, or aka, ado. Literally means original seed or primordial seed, the first seed. The ancient Igbo ancestors or the first human form beings of the earth were ape gods and ape goddesses, which the Western world call Homo erectus, the upright man in modern science. The Igbo word for human is Mado. This name also breaks down as Mado, enlightened seed. Ma means enlightenment, illumination. Ma. Mado, enlightened seed. And since the primordial mother of the Igbo, Ajana, is androgynous, it is clear that Ado, Chukwu, is her masculine form on earth. Ekenwafia, the first Igbo woman was an immortal forest dwelling spirit named Oma. She was called Oma because she came from the moon. And she is the moon itself, Onwa. She is also called Oma because she is the mother of Omini Benevolence. She blessed Igbo women with Kokoyam, Ede. Oma is an embodiment of the natural beauty of Igbo women. She is also called Nwanyi Marama, a beautiful woman. She is Neke, the divine mother creator in her all good form which is the spring and summertime this is when she manifests the true meaning of Yibo which is the forest of life The name of the first Igbo man. The immortal man Igbo is the first son of Chuku Najana. He blessed Igbo men with Yam, G. Igbo manifests himself in various forms. Many times he is called Ahobunaga, Arobunaga, or Obunaga. The Yorubas call him Obatala, Obaibo, Osereibo. Yoruba mythology Obatala, Obaibo was the first man on earth. He was sent by Elo Dumare Chuku to create dry land. When we Africans leave Abrahamism and Western political systems and go back to our mystery systems, we will eventually see how we are all connected and related. Atolopa Obwe. In Alpha, Ibo, Ndi Ibo, and Onu Ibo is called Atolopa Obwe. This Alpha unveils what Ibo people need to know about being Ibo and how following the principles of Ibo can help them succeed in life. Atolopa Obwe teaches that in order for Ibo people to become one with Ibo, they need to separate themselves from all forms of evil and dirty characteristics. It teaches that what brings out the Igbo in you is when you practice good character, good deeds, good thoughts, and have a good heart. It says that is what it means to be Igbo, and this part will make an Igbo person to become more successful and live very long.